Hello friends, compliments of the season and my best wishes on behalf of Nave Marg Foundation and its entire team. This greetings comes to you from this chilly area of Cherapunji. As we enter the new year and we finish with the old year in mind, we have a very good thing to say for you. In fact, a very, very big thank you on behalf of Nave Marg Foundation for all the trust and support that you have extended to us and made us the best brand as far as mutual funds is concerned in Goa. The year 2021 was very effective in the sense it was a great learning experience despite the pandemic, despite the second COVID wave and a lot of restrictions as far as crowd gatherings are concerned. We have managed to reach out to as many people through the digital platform in the form of over 40 investor education programs. And the main highlight for this year was actually something different totally which we never expected is starting of the living happily with diabetes clubs all across Goa. In this concept, this was the first time in India where we could gather the, uh, the patients suffering from diabetes together and show them how it is easy to reverse this diabetes with simple exercise and diet regimens. And diabetes being the silent killer, the number one silent killer in India as far as all the diseases are concerned, this concept of living happily with diabetes had gained a very important milestone as far as Navemar Foundation is concerned. Now coming to the year 2022, I would like to share with you the five most common mistakes which investors do, which you should definitely try and avoid in 2022. The first mistake, getting carried away by the media publicity as far as digital currency is concerned. What I have noticed is many of the youngsters as well as many of the young adults are actually carry, getting carried away by this advertisement which is going on, the hype which is going on in the media as far as digital currency is concerned. Let me tell you from my experience, trading is basically like dating. You will get short term pleasures but you will not get long term results. So if you want to achieve results, you need to actually start planning to invest rather than trade. Trading will give you just the uh, satisfaction of booking profits for that day. But the moment you get into it, getting results out of it is very difficult. Let Tell me one person who actually, because of trading, has become rich. You need to be very, very lucky for it. But if you like to be an investor, investing is anytime much better than trading. The second common mistake, what everybody has been doing this year is, trying to shift the mutual funds and readjusting and switching various mutual funds and not remaining with it for a long period of time. What we have seen is, it doesn't matter how many mutual funds you have. What matters is basically how long you have been in it. The longer you remain with the fund, the bigger is the power of compounding. So stick to one fund for a minimum of five years and experience the growth in the fund. It's only then that you will actually feel like continuing in that fund after five years. Normally speaking, switches all happen in less than two years when investors start chasing returns. So don't charge chasing returns. Instead, try remaining invested so that you can get the benefit of inflation as well as the power of compounding. The third most important mistake which I feel most of our investors are doing is not linking the mutual fund investments to a specific goal. If there is no goal set for your investments, it's basically a saving. And 90% of our investors are basically saving for the rainy day. Mutual funds is a beautiful instrument to beat returns over inflation. It's to get returns over inflation. But if you really want to get achieve success in it, you have to attach a goal to it. You have to attach a purpose. Otherwise, it's like playing football without a goalpost. Just imagine without a goalpost playing football, it's like there is no destination in it. So the same way as far as mutual funds which are not linked to a goal, it actually means savings. Fourth most common mistake that most of the investors are doing is they are not taking the benefit of market corrections. Market corrections are always temporary and they are basically like discounts where you can get more units or more shares at a discounted price. And these market corrections are totally temporary. Growth is permanent. Start believing that you are a long-term investor, start believing that you are a part and parcel of India's growth economy. 
India is today the fastest growing economy all across the world. Even this year's GDP calculation, we have beaten US as well as China. Despite this pandemic, we have grown the fastest at the rate of 7.8% GDP. And this is how India grows. So be a part of it and start investing with a long-term vision. The fifth and the final most important mistake which people have done in the year 2021 is mixing insurance with investments. When you start mixing insurance with investments, you are neither adequately protected nor are you getting returns out of it. So what I would suggest is treat insurance as a foundation to your wealth creation. Be adequately insured against any health calamities, in fact, uh, you be insured against any personal accident cover, as well as try and see to it that you take a proper term insurance so that if by chance something happens unfortunately, your family nor you should suffer a financial crisis. So insurance is basically for protection. So never mix up insurance with investments. This is the final thing which I would like to tell you because these are the five critical things which will help you actually make 2022 a much better one. Now, if you like this video and if you find that these points are really valuable, I would suggest to please forward this and share this video to all your friends wherever possible so that they can understand the power of actually a financial discipline. Because for us at Nove Marg, our financial motto is basically to help individuals achieve financial freedom early in life. Because I have seen the benefits of financial independence. It helps you not as far as only happiness part of it, but also it improves your health also because stress reduces. Because the biggest cause of stress today is financial stress. So financial freedom is exactly opposite of financial stress. So try as far as possible, avoid these five golden mistakes this year so that 2022 becomes a much brighter year for you. Thank you. Jai Hind.